Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have put on some reddish lipstick today, trying to get as close as I could to red because I want to address something dealing with the root chakra. And I think a lot of people need to, to hear it. Um, they probably have heard it a lot and they pay to no mind. But um, releasing, taking in and releasing out is a natural like process. Like boo-booing and pee-peeing, stuff like that. Okay, somehow we're so screwed up as um, people. We're okay with someone going to pee. But, like, if you've ever used a public restroom, if you have to boo-boo, everybody tries to hold it in while somebody else is in there. As if, this is normal. This is a normal thing. Like, why are we ashamed of that? Okay? Um, it's like we're taught that. Um, for men, it's like, oh, don't cry. Men do not cry. Who does that? It's like telling them, don't pee. But you wouldn't tell somebody that. Or don't boo-boo. You wouldn't tell a baby that. But for some reason... Um, adult men are not are taught you know it's not okay to cry when it's a natural thing your body takes in food and it takes all the nutrients out of it and whether by sweat or crying or wax buildup or boogers it, or, or pooping or whatever it releases what it, it you know is bad for it or it doesn't need and why or where am I going with this when we get into um, icky situations with people and we're upset with them like say if our parents did something to us someone re really close to us and we hold that in now you just picture Instead of that emotional block, picture it then as something that's more little. Picture you just ate a piece of, uh, of chicken or a piece of fish or a piece of ca a carrot. And you chewed it up and you swallowed it and it got hung right in your throat. Now is that okay? No, it's not because you're, you're going to die. So if that's not okay, hung in the throat, why is it okay for you to get mad at someone and then hold it in why don't we look at things like this why is it hard for us to see hey I'm hurting myself I talked to a lady who had not forgiven or spoken to her parents in 50 years because she felt like they treated her different than the other kids my god 50 years and looking at her she just was incomplete. It was like looking at a person who didn't have the other side of themselves. And it showed in her health. She was on so many medications. She was taking so many trips to the doctor. But none of that matters. Because we've we've put that like in a box almost. That's that's okay, but if I get choked on a carrot, like yeah, that has to come out. That does. Or you know, um, I, I, I ate something and oh, it's in my stomach. Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Ah, I gotta get this out. But you're not trying to get out blocks. Th these things cause blocks in your body. They ultimately cause the sicknesses and diseases that are in your body because you won't let go of these hurtful, horrible things. That yes, they were bad. Yes, what they did was totally wrong. But you owe it to yourself to say, you know what, I see you're not at a place that um, is good for me or anyone. So for my own sake, I'm going to forgive you and I'm going to allow myself to heal and I'm going to move on. That's, that's what you, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to flow. So Ken... And release yes it happened I took it in but now I release it it's gone it's over the situation was over 30 years ago why are you still almost oh, stay just like this mm 
mm, mm, mm. I'm not gonna let it go. I'm not gonna let it go. Come on. Breathe. You owe it to yourself. Take some breaths. You're here. You made it. Whatever it was, you passed it. Let it go. Have a good day, guys.